When you're troubleshooting your Zen, you'd be surprised how often the issue just has to do with unplugging and replugging a cable. That's how we fix a lot of the hardware issues, and that's also what's listed on the main site for Collective Minds. The main issues you're looking at on screen, a lot of these can be corrected if you unplug a USB cable and then replug it back into your Zen. And it's amazing how often this works. I'll show you a quick video. Here we have the classic E3002 error. All I'm going to do is unplug the right-sided cable, that's your programmer cable, and then I'm going to plug it back in, and that's it. This is usually a sync issue, and this corrects it a lot of the time. This usually works when you have the grayed out programmer tab in Zen Studios as well. All you would need to do is unplug the right side of cable, replug it, and typically it pops up unless you have a faulty cable, which does happen sometimes. Use a different cable. Now, if Zen Studios just won't open, it's possible that your IP is blocking Zen Studios, so you might have to get a VPN, and on the Chrono Zen website, they have a free one. I figure I'd throw this one in there as well since it did recently happen. This is if you have a bitcode error. So if you take a look at the screen, you can see that all the numbers and the letters are kind of jumbled. So you can unplug and replug and see if that works, or you might have to do the catch-all, which is a hard reset of your Zen device. I say catch-all because this is what usually catches and fixes most of the errors. So here's how you do a hard reset of your Kronos. Unplug your Kronos, hold down the blue buttons, and then plug it back in. And that is going to completely erase and wipe all information out of your Zen, so there's no leftover code, which means you can then start it back up again effectively.